Jesus is helping me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. I believe His light can shine through me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. Control to surf, and you have to be super strong. One day, I'm gonna surf on the waves. It's going to be so fun. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Making big waves, are you? Hi, Ollie. I was remembering the time where I saw people use their strong muscles and self-control to surf on the huge waves. Surfing on waves is fun. It's true. Strength and self-control can help you do other things, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. We've been learning so much about how Jesus can help us do everything. We've got another thing Jesus can help you do. Are you ready? Great, let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so at the very beginning we learned that God loves us so much that he gave us his son Jesus to be our friend forever. When Jesus is your friend forever, he can help you do everything. Jesus can help you choose love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness. When Jesus is your friend forever, 
it's like you've got this power. Yeah, big strong muscle power. Can you show me your muscles? Wow, look at all of those strong kids. Great job. Okay, you can put your arms down now. When Jesus is your friend forever, he can help you have the power of self-control. It means you can choose to do the right thing. Let's practice our power. Ready? Okay, let's say you have a friend over to play outside. And they see your brand new scooter and want to play with it. Should you share the scooter or not share the scooter? Which would show God's goodness? Yes, share your scooter with your friend. That's the power of self-control, choosing to show God's goodness. Way to go. Mailbox confetti. Let's do another one. Let's say you're in the car with your family and it's a really long trip, like really long. You want to watch a movie on the device, but your sister is playing a game on it. Should you be upset and have a grumpy face or choose to be patient and wait for your turn? Yes, you should be patient. Way to go. That's how you choose self-control. Mailbox confetti. <laughs> oh, let's do one more. Let's say you can't find your favorite fluffy bunny and you've looked everywhere. Do you get mad about it? Or do you choose to have a joyful heart while you ask for someone to help you look for it? Yes, you choose joy and ask for help. Choosing joy when things are hard is self-control. And do you know what that calls for? Mailbox confetti! <laughs> Great job, friends. Jesus can help you choose self-control because Jesus can help you do everything. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus can help you choose self-control and so many other important things, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, when Jesus is my friend forever, he can help me have the strength to choose self-control. Self-control can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. The rock with the muscle on it can remind me to choose self-control. And that'll help me choose love and joy and peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's the real way to make waves. See you next time. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6.